Turtle the Fam here, and you are watching The Steel One. What's going on, you guys? My name is Rich, and I am The Steel One. And today is weekly what's up hey guys hope you're having a good week um i really don't have a whole lot to talk about i really don't um nothing that i um want to share too much um <clears throat> last week uh i talked about uh, going through something at work um I'm through part of it. Let's put it that way. Um, it's been rough. Um, I was feeling very scared, and um, I don't know. Uh, I knew I know everything is gonna work out, and I just I was just scared, and um, you know, I went to Rachel's this last weekend, and I'm sure I. We were too, we were too uh, sad sacks. <laughs> I'm Rachel was is still uh, upset about her dog Dexter, and um, I was upset about work, and so we we just kind of were vegetables and just miserable together, <laughs> which was fine by me. You know, I wouldn't have rather bet anywhere else. Um, but I'm having a better attitude about the situation. Um, I am trying to be positive and, um, make, uh, light of a bad situation and instead of, uh, going to work and being, um, grumpy about it or negative or, uh, Oh, feel sorry for me type of attitude. I went in there and I just busted my butt and was super nice to everybody I saw. Um, most of this week I've still been feeling that fear. So at work, you know, I almost feel like, I mean, I've had anxiety before, but I think like yesterday I really felt like... <clears throat> When people talk about having anxiety, I wonder if that's, uh, I had a form of that yesterday. I mean, I was just so nervous and so my heart was just racing and I had um, a hard time breathing and stuff like that. And so, but you know, prayer does work and it does help and when you trust in the Lord um, you know he's going to be there for you um, you lean into him he's going to lean into you and you know I started thinking about you know I know I'm going through this trial uh, for a reason you know and so you know sometimes God lets bad things happen to you to push you forward and sometimes I'm one of those type of people I don't know about you but I'm one of those type of people that need a push. You know, I think God has been telling me things and I've been ignoring him. <clears throat> and um, taking things into my own hands. And um, I was like, okay, fine. You're going to be that way. Then here you go. <laughs> and I thank him for it. I really do. It's a bad situation. But it's gonna work out it's not horrible I'm not getting fired I'm not getting written up but I've got the eyes of the higher-ups on me and it's like having you know uh, in Lord of the Rings the the eye of I can't remember Sira I can't remember the other you know that I you just don't want that on you you know and but instead of just cowering away and being miserable at work, uh, I put on an act for the most part to, to people. Um, 
not showing my fear except for the closer people that I you know work with you know I expressed it to them and uh, they were very positive and very um, supportive and encouraging so anyway I'm just uh, I'm just trucking along and <clears throat> once I get through this um, everything's gonna be fine um, today was a good day for me this is the best day I've had since um, before what happened at work happened um, so um, yeah so I'm feeling good today I'm feeling um, I'm feeling like my fear is finally deflating um, it's still there a little bit and I know within a few days uh, it should be completely gone um, I do have some things coming up uh, at work that may bring it back a little but I know the one thing that you know <clears throat> I wanted to bring up is that you know there's a difference folks about the difference between religion and a relationship I know that uh, people who don't um, haven't been saved or haven't had the had the Lord enter them or whatever they don't understand they're looking on the out from the outside in and it's hard to explain to people that you know religion is about following rules and and going to church you, you think you you're going to be saved or have salvation by going to church and and um and you know following the rules but that's that's not having a relationship with god is it's hard to explain for me it is anyway <laughs> i listen to these pastors on the radio and they explain it really well but I'm not very good at explaining it. Um, the difference is, is that, you know, when you go through stuff, you have that relationship, and he is with you. Um, you feel him, you know he's there, and um, that is what helps you get through this stuff. Now, being saved and is not like a cure for nothing ever happening to you you're you're gonna have stuff happen to you you know that's part of life and as much as you try to avoid it like I do <laughs> like a plague I avoid it but it always seems to find me and no matter what you know but I'm getting through it uh, one day at a time and um like i said god god is helping me and and i'm having this faith and there are situations at work where i could probably um put it in my hands and and i'm trying not to say a whole lot as you can say <laughs> as you can tell <clears throat> but I'm not I'm not doing that this time I'm not I'm I'm just giving living it up to him and I think that's one thing that I've learned um, and there's a number of things I've learned through this trial and you know I thank you thank God for that you know I it's been rough but I am learning and I'm adapting and hopefully uh, hopefully um, I'm better for it you know what I mean like uh, I feel this change in me already and I want to hold on to it even after all this trouble goes away uh, I want to I want to I want to keep it I want to keep what I'm feeling and what I'm doing and um, implement it always and I don't want to fall back into my into my old comfortable self and so It's been experience, and 
I, I am looking forward to it to completely over, um, but it's just keep praying for me, guys. I've been filling your prayers. Um, a lot of you have said you've been praying for me and Rachel, which, you know, I appreciate that so much. And um, some of your comments made me cry from last week, and um, I appreciate all the, the positive and godly um comments that you guys have been leaving and it's it's helped a lot and you know i i can't um show enough appreciation for it anyway um so obviously i haven't been filming um i do have that uh steel one nails it that i did with george i kind of started editing it over the weekend but I just my heart wasn't in it um, but it will it will come out eventually smash that like button if you want to see it tell me in the comments how much how much do you want to see the steel one nails it with George TV the fam the more likes the more comments I get the quicker it'll get out Anyway, uh, so this weekend, uh, I believe I'm going up to the Springs. Um, I don't see why I won't. Um, I probably will. And um, I think we're going to, um, I don't know if you guys have this in your state, uh, painting with a twist. It's where you go and they have a painting that you're supposed to like copy or you know they show you how to do it and you go along with it I think I'm gonna film it I'm not sure yet I don't know if they'll allow me to but I might feel film that and make that a uh, steel one nails it video um, for this weekend um other than that I still haven't heard from James Uh, yeah, so I haven't heard from him, uh, I gave up texting him, and he's, he's been, he's been putting out the bangers lately, so he's been a busy man, so I don't, you know, I'm not taking it personally, obviously, but I do miss the guy, and I, I really wish that he would come back, um, maybe after all my troubles at work, that's when the Lord will say, hey, James, you need to go see George TV, the fam, and the steel one and lift them up. Because both George and I need it. George is going through stuff. I'm going through stuff. You're all going through stuff. We're not the only ones, you know. But, you know, I love you guys so much. And, uh, you know, I love when I go into people's live streams and you say hi to me. And uh, it makes my day. Um yeah anyway guys uh, I don't really have anything else to talk about um, I swear it seems like there should be but I don't I want to get out and film guys I do I really do I think that's gonna you know lift me up um, I love going out to abandoned and haunted places and I need to do it. It would make me feel so much better. Who knows, maybe we'll, I don't know, I don't want to promise anything. But uh, anyway guys, sorry for the kind of boring uh, weekly what's up. I don't. I've been watching some of my old videos. Gosh, and so much has been going on in the last year and a half on YouTube, and I've been watching all of them, and I'm like, man, I wish I was doing that stuff right now. I'm on my own motivation. You know, Omar and James are my my mentors, and now I'm watching my old videos, and I'm becoming my own mentor. <laughs> like, gosh, I want to go out there and do that. I did that, but I want to do it again. So... Anyway, guys, keep me and Rachel in your prayers. Rachel's doing good. She's still, you know, it's rough. Um, 
it's rough. You know, you know what it's like to lose a fur baby. Um, Dexter was was her little buddy, and he's a special kind of guy. And so um, Rachel is having a hard time, and so keep her in your prayers. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That is it. Sorry for not having really much to talk about. Um, I would tell you guys about what's going on about at work, but I'm afraid that someone might watch my videos and I'll get in even more trouble. So I don't want to do that. So maybe someday when things have the, the air is cleared. I can tell you guys what's going on, <clears throat> but it won't be anytime soon. All right, guys, that is it. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button if you want to see the Steel One Nails It with George TV the Fam. And, uh, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. Not all my videos are like this. If you're new to my channel, please go back uh, a couple months from now. You know, in the past videos. and those are, those are the videos I typically do. Just going through some stuff right now. Um, things are... It's cold and it's hard to get out and film. And uh, believe me, if, if I didn't have this job... Uh, and I had doing YouTube full time. I would, I would be out there all over the place, traveling, and I just can't do it. I have, I have to keep this job and keep going forward, unless for some reason my channel explodes. I'm limited, you know, unless you know for some reason I get fired, which that's not going to be the case. Um, but I thought if I ever did get fired, I would take a full run at YouTube before I found a new job. I would take a full run. I would uh, travel. I would hook up with James and Omar and Lou Rock and all of them. And we would be filming out some bangers. I'd come out and see any of you guys. And we'll go to where, the places you want to want Omar and James to go to. And they never go. We'll, we'll go together. But... Until then, uh, it's just the way it is. Um, anyway, if you do live in Colorado and you know of some areas to film at, feel free to put them in the comments. DM me on Twitter. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm done. I, this is like the third time I'm ending the video. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, a great weekend, and a great next week. And I'll see you. Man, I love you guys. Peace.